Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a $200 daily charm haul. I will also be creating some mermaid core aesthetic nails and doing a gel X nail set today using some of the products from the haul. But first of all, I just want to share with you guys some new products that I did pick out from the Daily Charm website. So as you guys may know, I am a brand ambassador for Daily Charm. So all of these items were sent over to me as PR, but I was able to pick out the items that I wanted from the website. If you guys have been watching my videos, keeping up to date with me, you probably also know that Daily Charm is my absolute favorite nail brand ever. I love their products so much. They literally have so many amazing products on their website and they are constantly getting and adding new things. So I just love their website so much. Um, I do have a discount code with Daily Charm. It is nailed by Brandy and it can save you some money off your purchase. I will be leaving that down below in the description box for my affiliate link as well. And then I'll be linking these products that I show and also the products that I use down there below as well. So let's take a look at this first item here. Um, I have gotten a few requests that you guys have actually wanted me to try the Daily Charm um, black and white soft gel nail tips. I really love Daily Charms nail tips and I have also been wanting to try these black and white colored tips so I was really excited for this. This specific set does come with 10 different sizes, the largest being size 0 and the smallest being size 9. Another thing that I really love about these tips is when you open up the box, it shows the sizes of the nail tip. That information is also available on their website, so if you are wondering if they are going to fit you, you can size out your nail tips and be sure that they are going to have sizes that will fit your nail beds. I find that that is something very helpful and I just really like the overall concept that they do include that. They do mention the sizes of the nail tips that way you are buying something that is actually going to fit you. So here is just a quick look at the nail tips. Of course, we do get black nail tips and we also get white nail tips. If you are questioning how are they going to cure, you can actually see here that they are see-through. You are able to see through them. It's kind of like a jelly or transparent look to them. Um, when I was holding it up there, you were able to see my glove, my hand through it, and that is just going to be able to allow the gel product to cure so you don't have to worry at all if your gel is going to get a full cure. The light is going to be able to go through the nail tip and it is going to be able to cure properly even though these nail tips are colored. So I did get the medium coffin. I do know that they have some other nail shapes available for these black and white ones but I just felt like medium coffin would be best for me especially because I do really like this nail shape. So here is just the largest size 0 and the smallest size 9. Side by side, of course, there is white as well, but I just showed the black. I really love these nail tips. They are really good quality. I also love the color of them. You can see here I was able to bend it and flex it back out. It didn't lose its shape. Also, around the cuticle area, it is thinner, and that is what you want. That way you get a seamless and flawless look. And then the free edge of the nail is a little bit stronger. That way it doesn't break or lose its shape over time. So the next ones I picked out are some medium almond nail tips, and these ones actually have 11 sizes, and they are also just the basic clear. Recently, I have been loving the medium almond shape, so I did decide to pick these ones up as well. Again, on the top of the box here, we have the sizes for the nail tips. I also did forget to mention, but they also include the step-by-step -step on how you should be a properly applying these nail tips. Again, the quality is the same as the previous nail tips, but of course these ones don't have any color to them. They are just clear. 
earlier, they are a very beautiful almond shape and I find that this medium almond nail shape fits me very nicely even though I do have longer nail beds. I feel like I'm able to cover my entire nail like natural nail bed. So I do really like this shape. I also love the length. It isn't very long. It is more of a shorter length to me. You can see that I do bend the nail tip. I get that like white line down the center and then I'm able to completely remove that white line kind of by flexing the nail tip and moving it around. It also doesn't lose its shape just like the last ones. We have the largest and the smallest size side by side here. Again, if you are looking to see if these nail tips are going to fit you before you purchase, you can just take a look at their size guide on their website. You will be able to measure, measure your natural nail and then before purchasing, you will be able to see if the nail tips are going to fit your nail beds. So I also decided to get the long coffin. These have 10 different sizes as well. The exact same thing as the medium almond, but a different length and a different shape. So we have the sizes and the information on how to properly apply the nail tips. And then we have the actual nail tips in here. I have been loving the Daily Charm Soft Gel Nail Tips. I think they are some of the best quality nail tips that I have ever used. I also just really like the fact that they give the sizes. Um, that's just something that I really like and enjoy when a brand does something like that because you will know right off the bat before you purchase if they are going to fit you or not and you can make your decision from that point whether or not to purchase just them but I do highly recommend checking them out again they're really good quality at the cuticle area it is thinner which you want that to get a beautiful seal and clean application and then at the free edge it is thicker of course so the nail tip doesn't bend or lose its shape you did see me bend the nail down the center it created that white line and then I was easily able to get that white line removed from the nail tip and there was no shape transformation from the nail tip it went right back to the original shape here is just a side by side of the largest and the smallest size nail tip and I was so happy that I did decide to get three different boxes of nail tips just to try out some different shapes and lengths for you guys. I am very excited to try those black and white nail tips. A video using those will be coming very soon. I didn't end up using them in today's video but I am very excited to give them a try so that will be coming up very soon. If you do want to see me do a video on those nail tips, make sure you do subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you are notified when I do upload that video. But moving on to the next item here, this is just a big roll of double-sided tape. In my previous Daily Charm haul, I did get these little like plastic or I don't really know if they're plastic, acrylic or acrylic plastic um, little stands so you can apply your nail tips to them and I thought that I got the tape but I didn't get the tape so this time around I decided to get that huge roll of double-sided tape and then I'm going to be able to place my nail sets on there and kind of just keep them on there so if I want to rewear them it is also great for just showcasing the nail sets that you have done and I really like that the next step is I need to get something to put them in that way I can just really showcase them but overall I really really like that and it is some really good quality double-sided tape. The next item I decided to pick up is this nail art liner brush. I do already have one of these. I absolutely love it so I decided to pick up another one just because these come in handy for almost any type of nail art you want to do. French tips, swirls, any nail design really that brush will definitely come in handy and I do like using it so I just decided to get another one. This next item here are some Twinkle Twinkle rhinestones and these are their new shaped rhinestones. I decided to get the Crystal AB Unfoiled. These are a new release to the Daily Charm website. They do have three other colors as well. They did have a huge launch on their Twinkle Twinkle rhinestone collection but at that point they only had released colored round flatback rhinestones but this time around they are coming out with some Twinkle Twinkle shaped 
rhinestones. I'm very excited for that. I decided to go with the AB foil ones because they're giving like the Aurora crystals, but I will definitely be getting the other three colors as well just because I love how shiny they are and they can really just add a lot to a nail set. So this next, next little baggie here are some different nail charms. Also included was their little thank you card that they do include in their purchases or if you order from their website. But I decided to pick out some charms here. And when I was picking out these charms, my main focus was getting like mermaid themed charms because I knew for a nail set, I wanted to do some mermaid nails because I know with the new mermaid movie that's out, um, a lot of people are doing mermaid themed nails. And I kind of just wanted to hop on that trend. And I know from looking at the Daily Charm Instagram, they've been doing a lot of mermaid core nails. And I just knew that 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 was the place where I was going to be able to find a lot of items. The first little pack of charms I showed were some silver starfish, just a various of different sizes. The next ones were silver and gold, and I believe that they came in separate packs, so I got the silver and the gold, and they were kind of just seashell starfish clusters with a pearl and rhinestones, and then that last pack there were also some silver uh, seashells as well in various sizes. Very beautiful and I love how delicate and cute they are. The next items that I picked out are some stickers. These first ones here are the airbrush effect stickers to where you can get that airbrush design but you don't actually need to use an airbrush. I have received those from past previous daily charm hauls in different like shapes but those ones were really cute. They were four pointed stars. This next sticker sheet is a peachy sticker sheet. I love those. I think they would create a very cute peach nail set, especially for summertime. This next sticker sheet are some kind of like waves giving off like an ocean theme or like a beach and I really loved these. I thought they looked really cute and it would just create a perfect beach or ocean nail without needing to create the waves on your own. You can just pop on a sticker and then you have a very beautiful wave and I just thought those were really unique. This next sticker sheet, these ones are actually embossed and they are kind of just like some pretty pastel butterflies with some white accent butterflies, moons, four pointed stars, some dots, and I just really liked the overall theme of that one. The next sticker sheet here, these ones are also embossed and these ones are some cherries. I recently did do a cherry French tip nail set and these stickers would have came in clutch. I could have just used some stickers, but these ones are very cute as well. We have some single cherries, the word cherry, and also some double cherries as well and they are embossed. I love Daily Charm stickers and they have such a huge, huge selection, so I do always like to get some because they are nice to have uh, if you are a beginner or if you just want to do a quick and easy nail set using some stickers instead of doing nail art. So the next two items here, I decided to pick up the Gummy Jelly. This is a 3D gel product that you can use to create custom charms. You can use it um, for the 3D chrome trend. I've been seeing this go around a lot, the 3D chrome trend, and I do want to try it again. And I may use this product for it, but you can also mix in glitters, you can mix in pigments, um, chrome powder. There are a lot of different ways that you can use this product. I really loved the consistency. It was a very thick consistency. I was able to touch it with my glove and it wasn't sticky, so you are going to be able to roll it around. You can roll it in a ball. It is very stretchy and again, this is just a great product for doing 3D charms or just doing 3D nails if you want to try the 3D chrome trend or just that type of thing. The next item is another 3D gel and this is their 3D art mixing gel. So this one is stickier. Um, I feel like it's more of like a rhinestone glue consistency. Of course you wouldn't be able to pick this one up in your hands and roll it around but it still is that very nice texture like it has like a very thick consistency to it. It is all 
also very stretchy. This one here is more for doing 3D art or just mixing in some glitter or something like that and applying it to your nails. But that will be one of the things that I use in today's nail set to really create those mermaid themed nails. So I'm not going to be doing any nail prep in today's video because recently I've been doing a lot of nail prep to my nails and really it isn't necessary for me because I am just showing it for educational purposes. If you do want to know how you should be prepping your nails for gel extensions, I will go ahead and leave a video linked where I showed how I prep my nails. You can also read the inside of the box here and just follow those steps on how you should should be prepping your nails. Um, Daily Charm does have a three-step extension system and that can be something very helpful and useful for prepping your nails for your soft gel nail tips. But again, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how you should be prepping, I will go ahead and leave a couple linked down below in the description box. But I just went ahead and applied my peel-off base coat. For my peel-off base coat, I kind of use a DIY pop-off method. For that, I apply cuticle oil, I rub that in to my natural nail, and then I apply a top coat and cure for 30 seconds, and that will just allow me to pop off the nails since I applied the cuticle oil and nothing is really bonding to my nails. So that just makes it super easy for me to continue to create content. So now I'm just going in and sizing out my nail tips. I decided to use the medium almond nail tips. I just thought they would be best for a mermaid themed nail set. So I am just sizing these out, making sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall. And again, I felt like those nail tips fit me very nicely. From the Daily Charm 3-step extension system, I am going to be taking step number three which is the actual extension gel and this is what I'm going to be using to apply the nail tips. So like always I'm going to be applying some of that product inside the nail tip where I estimate my natural nail to be, applying a little bit more near the cuticle just to make sure I have enough product in there to cover my entire natural nail. I will then start at my cuticle area, slowly lowering it at a 45 degree angle. Once all of that product has reached the free edge of my natural nail and there is no bubbles, I will hold that nail in place and do about a 15 second flash cure. I will then move on to the next nail, repeating those same exact steps. And then once I have all of the nails applied, I will go into my larger nail lamp and do a full 30 second cure. Once I did the full cure on all of the nails, I am now just going in with a hand file just to crisp up the shape to make sure everything is how I want it to be. I will also be taking my 5-in-1 drill bit to seal in the cuticle and also remove any spillage from the gel product that may be on the top of the nail tip. And then I will go in with a buffer to remove the shine from the nail tip before I go in with any of my gel polish. And of course, before starting any gel polish or starting any designs, I will go in with a dust brush just to make sure all of the dust is removed.
I am now ready for my gel polish. So I picked out three colors because I'm going to be doing a ombre 301, 705, and 901. A very hot pink, a teal color, and a purple. And I am going to be using these three colors on a sponge just to create a very beautiful, delicate um, three color ombre. I love these colors together. Pink, blue, purple. They are so pretty and they definitely give off a mermaid vibe. So I just love that. So I decided to just take those colors. I'm going to be doing a pink, teal, and then purple ombre. The pink will be at the cuticle area and then moving down the nail, the purple will be the last color. I just took one of these little makeup wedge sponges and applied the polish to the sponge. This is a very easy way to do a ombre. Something I would recommend though so you don't get gel on your skin is taking like a latex or a poly peel, something like that and putting it around your skin. That way you don't get any of that gel product on your skin. I could not find mine, so I didn't end up using it, but definitely if you're going to be doing this, I would recommend like using some sort of product like that. If you don't have that product though, definitely make sure before curing to clean all of that gel off of your skin. You don't want to be curing gel on your skin and honestly I wouldn't recommend doing it this way but I just went ahead and did it this way because I couldn't find my liquid latex. I did clean up that gel immediately from my skin. I just used a cleanup brush and some rubbing alcohol. I made sure to go all around my skin, clean up any of that remaining gel and then I went ahead and cured for 30 seconds in the the nail lamp. After I cured that first layer, I did just go ahead and apply some more of that gel polish colors to the sponge and then I went in with a second coat just to help build up the ombre and really get those pigmented colors. Again, I cleaned up my skin before curing and then I cured for 30 seconds. Once I had the second coat, I was loving how the nails were looking. I just loved those colors together. They really created a beautiful ombre. I did decide though that I wanted to add some chrome powder. So taking the Unichrome from Daily Charm and also their Chrome Effect Gel, I'm going to be applying a layer of the Chrome Effect Gel to all of the nails. And then I just followed the back of the bottle, the instructions. I can't remember if the curing time is 30 or 60 seconds. I believe it is 60 seconds though. So whatever it said on the back of the bottle, I did go ahead and do a full cure in the nail lamp. Once that gel product was cured, I'm now taking my Unichrome with a little eyeshadow applicator and I am just going to be rubbing this in to the Chrome Effect Gel on all of the nails. And this was the most beautiful touch. I love this chrome powder. I think I got it in my last haul. So it is my first time using this chrome and I love it. It is so pretty. I love how it didn't take away from the ombre, but instead it just 
added to the ombre and I really liked that. So I just went in with that eyeshadow applicator and rubbed it into all of the nails. Using Daily Charms Chrome and their Chrome Effect Gel, it is the perfect pair. If you are struggling with doing chrome nails, I highly recommend checking out their Chrome Effect Gel and their different chrome powders. They have so many powders to choose from and I never struggle whatsoever if I follow the curing time and apply that chrome effect gel and then I cure that and go in with my chrome. It is such an easy chrome application and it just turns out so smooth and looks so nice. After I had that chrome rubbed in, I took a fan brush just to kind of remove any excess chrome powder on the nails. You can go ahead and seal in the chrome if you would like, but I decided not to at this very moment because I'm going to be taking the 5-in-1 strengthening gel and also a very beautiful kind of like a blue glitter mix. It has some finer and some chunkier glitters. I believe it was in the last charm box. And I'm going to be taking this and doing it on the index and the pinky, just adding kind of like a little glitter dust to the nails, but not covering the entire nail with glitter. I kind of just want to add like a little line of glitter just to make those nails pop and give them a little something more so I don't just leave them plain how they are now. So I apply a layer of the 5-in-1 strengthening gel. I use that fan brush and just dip it into the glitter. Add the glitter where I want it on the nail and then I'll cure that for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. For the 5-in-1 strengthening gel, there are so many uses for that product, but it is really nice to apply like apply that to the nail, place in glitter, and then it just, I feel like it just seals in the glitter without even really having a top coat on it yet. Of course, I will still go over it with a top coat, but because that gel is so thick, I feel like it just really helps helps hold those glitters in place and just in like secures everything down then once you apply another layer of that or you can just go straight in with your top coat you just keep a very smooth nail and I didn't feel any of the glitter and all I went in with was the diamond shine top coat of course you can also go in with the 5-in-1 strengthening gel which I would actually recommend if you do plan on wearing these nails that way your chrome powder doesn't chip off but because I'm not actually going to be leaving them on, I decided to just save my product and I went in with a top coat. I applied that top coat to all of the nails and went ahead and cured for 30 seconds. Now I'm coming in with that art liner brush and also the 3D mixing gel. For this, I am going to be creating that 3D kind of like a seashell effect on the nail. This is my first time doing this and I feel like honestly 3D nail designs are just not for me. I don't know if they actually turn out good and I just personally don't like the 3D effect or if I just need more practice doing 3D nail art because I really did not like this nail. I was watching a tutorial on the Daily Charm Instagram and I was kind of following along with it and just trying to repeat that same thing on my nail, but I was struggling so hard and I felt like it shouldn't even be that hard because you're just putting lines to kind of create a 3D effect to the nail, making it look like a seashell design. I don't know, I don't really love how this nail turned out, but I felt like overall with the entire nail set, it looked fine and it just kind of blended in together. And I don't know, I kept it as is because it was kind of one of the main components of the nail set to really give off that mermaid theme. But here's what the nail looked like. I did do two coats. So I did my first coat, I cured, and then I went in with a second coat just to help it get a little bit more 3D. And for that second coat, I really only focused it in certain areas just to make sure that all of the areas did give off a 3D effect. 
So once I was all finished with that nail, it didn't come out how I wanted it to, but I did leave it as is. Like I mentioned, I didn't want to take away that nail because it kind of was the main effect of this entire nail design. So I left it and honestly, it doesn't look that bad. It just, I feel like when I'm picturing a 3D nail design, it just doesn't always turn out how I want it to. But either way, I am now moving on to the final nail here in the nail set. I'm using some of the metallic silver gel paint from Daily Charm. And I am just going to be doing a like scaled nail, kind of like a mermaid tail or something like that. You guys know. And for this nail... I did record it on camera, like I'm recording here doing it, and I didn't like it, so I didn't actually cure that, but then I forgot to record the second attempt at it, so you will only get to see the first attempt at me doing this nail, but keep in mind, I didn't keep this first attempt because I didn't actually like the way it turned out, but I did just forget to hit record so you don't actually get to see the process of the second attempt, but I do like to be transparent with you guys. Some things just don't always turn out the way I want them to, so I will have to try it again just because I'm filming and doing all that. It doesn't always turn out how I want it to. It doesn't always work the first time, so sometimes I do have to try it again, and for this nail, I I did have to do that exact thing but once I did like it I went ahead and cured for 30 seconds and that was the last nail of this nail set for my thumb I did just go ahead and do it off camera as an Instagram reel and like I always say I do post some other stuff or other content over on my Instagram that I don't always post on YouTube so if you have Instagram and are not following me definitely make sure you go follow me over there so you can see some other content or just more content my Instagram Instagram is nailed by Brandy. It is in the description box below. And here is just how that scaled nail turned out again. Keep in mind that was the second attempt of it. I did just forget to record. But I am now just taking that diamond shine top coat and applying it to that nail and also the 3D seashell nail and curing for 30 seconds. The final thing I decided to do was take the um, starfish and pearl rhinestone cluster and just place that to the seashell nail. I applied some rhinestone glue where I wanted the charm to be. I placed that and then once I liked the placement, I went ahead and cured that in the nail lamp and that is just how the nails are looking. I am taking my cuticle oil to nourish my cuticles and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set and I loved the finished look of these nails. Even though I wasn't super happy with the 3D nail, I think it blends and still fit with the nail set possibly I'm thinking that maybe I'm just not a big fan of like doing the 3d nail trend but honestly I'm thinking that maybe I just need a little bit more practice at it and I will end up liking it because when I see other people's 3d nails I always love them and think they look so good but I am still very happy with this nail set. I definitely feel like it gives mermaid vibes and I've just been loving all of these mermaid nails. I think they always turn out so cute and they are just very beautiful colors since some of my favorite colors are teal, blues, purples, and pink. If you guys have not yet checked out Daily Charm, I 100% recommend you do. They also have charm boxes. I'm not sure if they have any of their July subscription charm charm box still available. If they do, I'll go ahead and leave the link to that down below in the description box along with a previous charm box unboxing. I really love the charm boxes. They are really the cutest mystery boxes or subscription boxes ever and I have received their previous boxes. I really love them and like you guys know, I love Daily Charm. I think they have so many cute products and they just treat, keep up with the hot trends and just doing trendy nails and releasing products that are super trendy like cat eyes and holographic gel 
gels and all of that. So I really love them. I definitely recommend you checking them out. I will leave the links to everything that I showed in the haul and also everything that I used in today's nail set down below in the description box along with my discount code which is Nailed by Brandy and also my affiliate link. If you do make a purchase using my code or affiliate link, I will make a small commission and it really helps me out a lot. So thank you so much to anyone who does make a purchase. If you are still here watching, leave some mermaid emojis down below in the comment section. That way I know you have made it until the end of the video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all next time.